Today I'm going to show you how I use direct sunlight and a $7 party decoration for a creative, high contrast black and white fashion image. Hey everybody, I'm Lindsay Adler and if you watch my videos, you know that there are two things that I love. I love creative lighting and I love DIY projects. So what I do is I love to go to a dollar store or I go to a craft shop or I search online and I look for things that I can use to make incredible lighting, whether that be a strainer or maybe it's a party decoration. In fact, I've used party decorations tons of times before. Sometimes I use them as a textured background, sometimes as a headpiece. And in this case, I'm going to use $7 star party decorations to make creative shadows on my subject. So let me tell you a little bit about the setup that I have going on here. Here are the ingredients that you would need. First of all, you need direct sunlight. You could shoot this outdoors, or in my case, I'm shooting some sunlight streaming in through a window. And the reason that the sunlight is so important is because it gives really crisp shadow edges. And that's what I need so that I can put that star decoration in between the subject and the sun and cast really crisp shadows on her face and on her body. So to hang these star decorations, I have a C-stand and a C-stand arm and I've taped it to the top so that what I can do is I can adjust the position of the stars so I can put it near her eye or on her head or on her chest and move it around for different compositions. I also know that the closer I can get the stars to my subject, the more defined those shadow edges will be. Now next up in the equation, I need to consider what backdrop best suits my concept. Now the concept for this image is I want something clean, bold, graphic, playing with shadows and highlights. And so I decided to select a white background. In this case, I'm just using a white V-flat. Now the reason I actually selected this was because the sunlight streaming through the window created interesting little pockets of light on the background, which I thought made for a more interesting composition. As I was shooting my subject, the sun is relatively high in the sky and it casts some dark shadows in her eyes. And for that reason, I've added a silver reflector underneath my subject's chin. This allows me to adjust the reflector and gives little catch lights to her eyes. It gives a little bit more life to the shot. For this image, I am using the Canon R5 and the Canon RF 50mm 1.2 lens. This lens is so sharp. It is gorgeous. And that's why I've chosen it for this image. I've chosen it not only because it is sharp, but also I wanted to be able to get some tight shots and some shots with a little bit of a wider composition and the 50 would give me that flexibility. So my vision for this shot is bold, graphic, playing with light and shadow. And so that's what I'm going to keep in mind as I get the shot. All right, so let's go do it. Perfect, and lean this way just a little. Great, oh, perfect. One of the reasons that I decided just to use the light coming through the window rather than going outside is because it was a little bit easier for me to tether, and I love tethering. Tethering allows me to connect to my computer so that as I'm taking the shots, I can actually preview them. I can actually see what they look like. So if I wanna convert it to high contrast black and white or I want to check my focus, I can do so on my computer. So there you have it, a beautiful fashion image using nothing more than a party decoration. And I feel like that's starting to become a repeated theme in a lot of my videos. And I don't know if it's just me. So if you've made an image using party decorations, let me know in the comments below. What did you use? What did the images look like? By the way, if you liked these images and you wanna see the gear that I used to make them, be sure to check out the links in the description below and visit adorama.com. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, you're going to want to subscribe because I have so many more videos just like these coming your way. See you next time.